Today I've got some tips and tricks that high elo players use to win lane. What's up guys, my name is Retrad and I'm going to show you some advanced laning tips that you could use as Riven. The very first tip I want to talk about is minion aggro. Everyone knows that if you attack an enemy champion, their minions will start to hit you. Just like how a tower will shoot you if you do damage to enemy champions. But to be more specific, minions will only change aggro to you if you auto attack or use single target spells on a champion. This means AoE abilities does not trigger minion aggro. Riven can trade for free with her abilities and not trigger minion aggro because they're all AoE. The only way you get aggro from the minions is by auto attacking a champion. And if you do start taking minion aggro, you could break it by walking into a bush. In the early levels, minion damage can really add up, and they have the potential to do more damage to you than even a champion. So keep in mind that when you trade, you make sure that either their minions are far enough so that you won't aggro them, or that you have more minions than your opponent so that you have the advantage. This is why pros will push as slow as possible to build up minion waves, and never lose trades. You gotta make them- Oh! Oh, you made him angry! <laughs> don't tell me, don't tell me! The second tip I have is about champion interaction. In the lane phase, you have to learn to play your matchup so you know what abilities you need to interrupt or dodge. High elo players have played the game so much that they know every matchup and they can read what their opponent wants to do. For example, if you know the Camille matchup, one of the things she'll do is use her R to dodge your wind slash. If you're aware of this interaction, then you know that you should hold your wind slash until after she casts her ultimate. Still talking about the Camille matchup, if you're able to use your CC on her in the middle of her hookshot, she won't be able to recast her hookshot and you can cancel it altogether. Another example is Fiora's parry. I'm sure you know that if you use any CC on Fiora while she parries you, you'll die. If you can bait out her riposte, then that's 20 seconds that you could play aggressive and she can't do anything. Things like this come with experience, and that comes with playing a lot of games and getting destroyed a lot. But if you can figure out what your opponent wants to do, then you can play around it and play confident. Okay, so the third tip is about spacing. A good player knows that trading revolves around getting CS and denying CS. You should only really be trading with your opponent when they walk up to hit the minions, and they should be looking to do the same thing to you. Knowing this, you can walk in and out of the opponent's maximum range to bait them into using cooldowns on you, so you can safely last hit the minions. To do this, you just stay out of the range and you walk in and out. When they walk up, you walk back, and when they walk back, you walk up. This is called wiggling. And what happens if you keep doing this is that the opponent walks up thinking that you're gonna walk back, but instead you're going in while they're clicking on you and you get to trade them for free. When you see a streamer doing this, they're not just doing it for no reason. They're actually testing the waters to see what their opponent will do. In this clip, you see the Renekton and Riven moving in and out kind of like a dance. So you'll see how the Renekton wins this trade by timing his movement correctly, baiting the Riven into clicking on him. And while she's moving into him, he walks into her and he lands a free W. So some of the tips I just showed you don't just apply to Riven, but they kind of apply to every other champion too. But the reason I say that these are a little more advanced is because some things you just know by experience, and if you keep playing and getting used to the game, you'll just have a feel for it. And once you know what you can and can't do, you'll be able to play with confidence and win your lane easy. So I've been Retrad, thanks for watching, and I'm out.